need to be scared. You need to be concerned. And you need to get your butts moving out of New Orleans. This is the mother of all storms. This storm is so powerful and growing more powerful every day that I'm not sure we have seen anything like it. This was no uh, minor disaster. This was a biblical scale catastrophe on our hands and we were in the center of it here. This is the storm of the century. As I flew over the city of New Orleans, I can still see the scars left from the death and destruction from Hurricane Katrina from 10 years ago. As I sat on the levee, I reflected as one by one our hedge of protection was removed until the floodwaters eventually overtook and destroyed our city. As I pondered on these events, I couldn't help but to wonder if there wasn't another storm of enormous magnitude that was approaching our nation. A storm that couldn't be measured by the human eye, by barometric pressures, by colliding fronts, or even in a Richter scale, but is measured by the sins of its people. And I had to wonder and ask myself, is that a storm approaching this nation today? This story is about that approaching storm and the concerns for this great nation, America as we know it. Is that we know that when the season comes, God says we don't know the day, we don't right. know the hour, we don't know the, the, the moment, but we know the season. Yeah, he rebuked the Pharisees for not understanding the signs of the times. Rel if, if the blood wounds are relevant and the Shemitah is relevant, then there is a likelihood that you're going to have a major episode happen in the Middle East. It can't, it can't go much longer. It's like a pressure cooker that's about to burst in the Middle East. I believe a great, great shaking is coming to this land, coming to America, coming to the world. It will, it will involve the collapse of the financial realm, the economic realm, and will be greater than that. And will change things, even, even change the course of history. We're not just talking about just religion. We're talking about events that are going to shape this entire world. Mm -hmm. Every man, woman, and child. They're, they're saying all the danger signs that were there at the last crash are there now. When we talk about Bible prophecies, 2015 may be a year where we see the literal fulfillment of a Bible prophecy. We don't know this for sure, but these guys are pointing to some very big warnings right here. From a prophetic standpoint, we're, we're very close. And your, t your timeline here, I'll be shocked if we don't see the fulfillment of one, two, three, maybe four different Bible prophecies. And we've only talked about a couple of them. Uh, I, there's the potential we could see the beginning of the tribulation uh, occurring, but I don't know. We'll have to watch and see. But the warning is, Shemitah in Hebrew can mean the release, but it can also mean the collapse or the fall. And so the warning is that if America does not return to God, America is rapidly departing from God and, and driving him out and defying his ways. If America doesn't return to God, that its crown as the head of nations, the American age as we know, as we've all known it, will collapse. And it's even beginning to collapse even this year. Shemitah in Hebrew can mean the release, but it can also mean the collapse or the fall. Born and raised in New Orleans, I've seen a lot of hurricanes. And that's when Hezbollah fired 4,000 missiles into Israel, put many Israelis in northern Israel. The 
economic system, and, and, and that's where I got into a lot of the understanding I've got. And, uh, I mean, it was so beautiful seeing this bright, blood-red moon over the Temple Mount in Israel. And...